so good morning today we are going to read about the cranial fossa so what you are seeing here is the three cranial fossa so this is the interior of the base of the skull which is demarcated by three cranial fossa so this is the anterior cranial fossa middle cranial fossa and the posterior cranial fossa so first when you take anterior cranial fossa it is demarcated anteriorly by the frontal bone and more posteriorly by this bone which is called as a lesser wing of sphenoid which continues as the anterior clenoid process and more in the central portions here it is a cribriform plate of ethmoid bone and more in the central part posteriorly this portion of the bone is called as jugum sphenoidale so it is limited anteriorly by frontal bone posteriorly by the lesser wing of sphenoid and more in the centrally by the cribriform plate of ethmoid bone and the jugum sphenoidale so on laterally this plate of bone which is very thin which is called as the orbital plate of frontal bone so what are the structures you can see in the anterior cranial fossa is the first one is a more crest like structure so this is called the frontal crest into which the dural fold which is called as a fox cerebrae will be attached below this another elevation you can able to see a projection which is called the cristogalle so into the cristogalle also the fox cerebrae will be attached between this frontal crest and the cristogalle this foramen is called as foramen cecum which is normally a blind foramen so into the foramen if it is there uh, emissary vein which connects the superior sagittal sinus to the vein of the nose will be present on either side of the crista galle this plate of the bone is called the cribriform plate of ethmoid bone normally it will be pierced by olfactory nerve filaments which will be coming from the olfactory mucosa thereby it pierces and goes to the olfactory bulb which will be located here olfactory bulb at the anterior end of this cribriform plate is the anterior ethmoidal canal into which anterior ethmoidal nerves and vessels will pass whereas more posteriorly it is a posterior ethmoidal canal where the posterior ethmoidal nerves and vessels will be passing on either side of this orbital plate is or it is normally related to the sulci and gyri that only produces all these elevation 